Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I'm super excited that you tuned in today because I am going to be looking at a new improvised video from Sofia Swing Festival 2021. Looks like we're going to be looking at Elsa and Martinez. I haven't seen these dancers in a long time live, and I, I can't wait to see what's happened since that last time. Um, all dancers are always working on their craft, so this should be a good surprise. Let's jump right into it. The one that fell all the way from the Dunia, Elsa Martinez! Woo, woo, woo! Lithuania, folks. They've always had incredible dancers. Yes, we got that same glorious band. Wow. Digging that beard, too. He's got a nice groomed beard. I got a little bit of beard envy <laughs> whenever I see another man's well-groomed beard. Okay. All right, so far I can't tell if this is going to be improvised or choreographed, which is my favorite kind of dancing. Yes. Yes. That drummer. <laughs> when Martinez is that cross step, the drummer hit the, the bass at the same time. That was glorious. Come on now. Yes, come on, Elsa. She's so playful with her dancing and I think a lot of people underestimate that. They, they look at playful dancers and they think they're not good technically, but it's quite the opposite for her. She's got the best of both worlds. Hey. So, so far I can tell this is improvised and you can normally tell that when, when there's not a whole lot of synchronized movements that they're doing precisely at the same time. There's still a little bit of a delay even when they separate. Yes. Boom. <laughs> yes, that was quite impressive. I really love dancing, folks. I, let me give you guys my thoughts on this. Man, I gotta tell you, that was really fun to watch. It, it's one thing to be able to dance uh, in front of an audience and kind of have like the the polished, over-processed, choreographed perspective on things. And of course, you're going to be entertaining when you do that because you know what you've prepared for uh, the audience. And the audience doesn't really know where those surprises are. You know where their surprises are. So it just kind of works out. Um, 
But there's a different type of perspective when you can get out there and social dance and still make your presentation just as impactful as a choreographed piece. Now, I won't say that this particular performance was just as impactful 100%, but it's pretty close. I would say it's up there with the 90% um, appeal for me. And you guys know me, I love social dancing. I love when people can take social dancing and make it look like it's a performance. That's really hard to do. And I really like that both of these uh, dancers had the ability to do so much more as individuals. You could tell that they had a tremendous amount of restraint um, to just kind of dance by themselves while being connected with another person. But this was a really mature dance. <laughs> That's the only way I can think about it. It's like, usually when you have dancers that can say a lot and they choose not to say a lot when they're dancing and they choose to say it at the right time, they get a whole lot of respect for me because normally it's just the opposite. When you have dancers who have a tremendous amount of skill, they tend to just blah to the audience and you don't really see the refinement and the discipline uh, of their craft. But these two, man, they crushed this. Again, I got to give a shout out to that band. If anybody has a direct link to some of their music, I would love to purchase it. I, I just love collecting great swing music and uh, I'm also learning how to play the clarinet right now. So this guy is really inspiring me. Um, so let me know in the comment section below if you guys know the direct link to some of their music. But great job with Elzang Martinez. My favorite part is this part right here. Um, there's a little section when they start coming together a little bit and then when he does this send out with her, they're kind of rocking right now. They go out, they separate, and right here, ah, oh, yeah, when the music hits with the drummer and when Martinez does that cross with his feet and you can just see all of that come together, for me, that is just the spirit of swing dancing. It really is a, an art form that's done in concert with a lot of people. A lot of other dances doesn't have they don't have that type of community where you have live music, you have dancers that are dancing and it, it's something that is just so beautiful because I feel like everybody can be a part of something that uh, is creating this amazing emotion. So that was the highlight point for me. I love seeing when the musician either is looking at the dancer and they like hit a couple of notes to try to imitate what the dancer's doing. Or in this case, it almost looked like it was just 100% perfect timing where the drummer didn't know what Martinez was about to do and he just happened to do it at the same time. That's really magical. That's really magical. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. I was really impressed by this. Um, if you haven't done it and you live in that area, I encourage you take lessons. It's one of the greatest things that you can do is swing dance because it's a skill set that you can take with you anywhere in the world and probably find a dance community and just be able to go out and swing dance with people you don't know and immediately have a, a starting point um, of, of connection. And I think that's the beauty of swing dancing. You have so many different languages and so many different cultures coming together and being able to love one thing and, and just really blossom uh, as a community doing that. So let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comment section below. If you haven't done it, like I said, take lessons. If you guys are online, try out some of my free courses below. They will help you expand your knowledge on how to be creative with swing dancing. Um, I've, I've spent years uh, compiling lessons online before it was kind of popular just to kind of get my creativity uh, out of my brain and on video. So hopefully a lot of that will be inspiring for you. Um, let me know in the comment section, guys, what you thought about this one. If I don't see you in my class online, hopefully I see some of your comments below. And don't forget to let me know about that link on the band so I can get some of their music. Thanks a lot. See you guys later. Take care.